Ones. Nice paper there. Mmm, smelling fresh, looking fresh and icy blue. Take a little squeeze at that. But before we get into that, make sure you jump down and hit that subscribe button for me. We're on the road to that 1K and each sub really, really helps grow the channel and gets us further towards that goal of 1,000. All right, let's check these bad boys out. And here's the box. There's your box label, guys. Bam! And you get Gore-Tex branding on it. Nice black Air Force One box with nice quality paper. Hashtag no trash sacks. Because I don't want plastic in my sneaker boxes. And this paper was really, really nice. And this is a beautiful, beautiful Air Force One all round and decent quality. Our quality is on point, so well done there Nike. And thanks to the Subtype store for double boxing. We love sneaker stores, that double box. It's a big, big pet hate of mine. So let's have a look at this icy, icy blue sole. Of course, a more nodgled, rugged, grippy sort of aesthetic. I'm pretty sure that's similar to the duck boot. Not 100%, let me know down in the comments below. I'll give you guys another look. So let me know because it seems to have um, some of the duck boot aesthetics or design features incorporated in this Air Force One. Of course we had to go with the classic white and the high. Best looking um, out of this Gore-Tex series. The lows look a little bit plain, but yeah, they're still a nice sneaker, but they look a little bit plain. And I, this one I really, really like, because it gives me subtle sort of off-white sort of vibes. Love the big Gore-Tex branding there. We have a rubberized icy blue swoosh, so who doesn't like that? And the tenth branding there, which of course is paying homage to the late, great Bill Bellman, who was a co-founder of... Um, Nike and that's what the 10th series is all about and pushing the boundaries of what sneakers and performance can be is why they basically incorporated the Gore-Tex into the classic Air Force One and I really really like that Nike Air pull tab on there, nice rugged pull tab you've got an elastic toggle so you can um, pull that Gore-Tex in and around to stop water getting down there and of course you've got rope laces. Now these rope laces, what I really like, I'll pull them out of the other ones. Really, really like this detail. Is there 100% waterproof? They've got some sort of coating on them and the water just beads off. So I thought that was a nice little subtle touch. And detail, also I really like the fact that if you look here, the Air Force One branding at the front there is 3M. So I'll put up a picture of that so you guys can see that. And yeah, that pops a bit in the light. Would have been nice to have maybe a little bit more 3M on it. But yeah, it is what it is. The leather is beautiful, beautiful quality leather with a nice rugged um, TPU heel cup. Keep you locked in there. And of course we have the zipper there. Not a huge fan of the zipper design because it's underneath the laces. I don't know why Nike do this, but hey, it is what it is. So you've got to work that lace zipper under the laces there. And another thing I didn't quite like about this shoe, it's only minor, minor, is the um, Gore-Tex underneath here only comes up to like about there and not all the way through. But hey, that zipper should be fairly watertight and they're gonna be way, way more waterproof than a standard pair of Air Force Ones. And yeah, so they've lined the Gore-Tex, make it a bit more comfortable. You've kind of got the elastic sock material and a bit of cotton sort of kind of teary feeling material. I'll try and get the camera to focus. And on this, you're going to look, you've got um, Nike, the 10th Gore-Tex branding in on the inner sole. Inner soles are stuck down, so I'm not going to pull those out. They're pretty much just standard inner soles. And of course, yeah, they just basically match the inner sock liner, as you guys probably can see there. 
and all around this is a really quality quality release by Nike and you know let me know do you guys sleep on these are you planning to get these they're still going for a reasonable resale price so yeah I mean I think they're going for damn near retail on StockX but here in Melbourne when you add on the fees of shipping then it puts it up by 100 bucks so yeah you should still be able to get a pair of these for a reasonable price if you like them. There's heaps of the lows around, but I'm gonna sleep on the lows. I don't like them as much as the highs. And also I like the white way better. As I said, it gives me that sort of off-white vibe. And I really, really like the aesthetic of the shoe. And during winter time in Melbourne, it's quite wet and rainy. And I think these will be a great, great choice.